Before starting this video, you can download the um, PDF file onto your digital device or print it out on the description below so you can work with me. So there are four rules to prove congruent triangle. So first one is side, side, side. So three matching or corresponding sides are equal. Second one is size, angle, size. So two corresponding sides and including, and including angles are equal. Third one is two corresponding angles are equal and a corresponding size are equal. Last rule, right angle, hypotenuse, side. So the corresponding angles is 90 degree. The hypotenuse are the same and the corresponding size are equal as well. So RHS. Example, side, side, side. So we know that AB is corresponding to QR and matching pairs if you like and they are equal so first one and AC is corresponding to PQ and they are equal and the last one is BC is corresponding to PR so three corresponding sides are equal so therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QRP SSS three corresponding sides or three matching sides are equal if you like SSS for example proof triangle ACD is congruent to triangle ABD now these are the steps you need to follow. Step number one, very important. We write this statement first. So in triangle ACD and remember the N, okay? Because we cannot write congruence yet because we have to prove the two triangle are congruent. So we have to write N first. So in triangle ACD and triangle ABD. Step number one. And follow that. We need to write down all the facts um, that's given in the diagram. So we know that AC okay, is equal to AB. So AC and corresponding to AB and is equal. So we write AC is equal to AB. So how do we know they're equal? Because it's given these two symbol mean. That means the two sides are equal. So is we write the reason is we write given and the next one we know that CD is equal to BD same rule applies because it's given this symbol here it means that both sides are equal so CD is equal to BD and the reason is given and the last facts is we know that AD have a common arm between the triangle ACD and triangle ABD. So we can write AD is common. Now we have the corresponding sides are equal and these two sides are equal and AD is common. So three corresponding sides are equal or three matching sides are equal if you like. So we can write the last statement out that is they are congruent so therefore triangle ACD is congruent to triangle ABD the, and the rule is SSS because three corresponding sides of the triangles are equal or three matching sides are equal if you like please take note on this now these three lines means is congruent to Congruent to. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So step number one. 
We write this statement first. Very important. In triangle ABC and triangle QRP. That's the first step. Second step, we write down all the facts that we know. So it doesn't have to be in the order that I write. You can write in any order, of course. So the first one I write is AB is equal to QR. So AB here is equal to QR. This line here. And then the, the reason is because both are equal 12 centimeters and it's given, it said state that. So we write given. And second one, we know that BC, BC is equal to RP. So RP is here, the both are 15 centimeters. So therefore, we write given because it state that. And you can write equal 15 centimeters and given if you like. And last one is we know that AC is equal to PQ because AC is 18.5 centimeters, so as PQ, which is 18.5 centimeters as well. So you can write AC equal PQ equal 18.5 centimeters if you like. And the reason is given because it state that. So now we have three corresponding signs are equal or three matching signs are equal. So now we can, we can state the um, triangles. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QRP. The rule is SSS because three corresponding signs are equal. So SSS. Angle, angle, side, IAS, because this angle here is same symbol, so these are equal, and angle B here is equal to angle O, and the corresponding size, this side here, okay, are equal. So we have two corresponding angles, and one corresponding size are equal. So therefore, the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle M O N. Then the rule is angle angle psi A A S. For example, prove triangle A E D is congruent to triangle B E C. Step number one, we need to write down in triangle A E D and triangle B E C first. So then we write all the fact that's given or we know. So first of all, I know that this angle here is equal to this angle because it state that. So the two dots mean they are equal because they have the same symbol. So angle DAE is equal to angle CBD. And the reason is given because it state that. And the next one, of course, this angle here Okay, we know that these, they are vertically opposite and the fact is vertically opposite angles are equal. So we cannot assume, but it is a fact. So we can write that down as well. So we write angle AED is equal to angle BEC. And we cannot write given because it didn't state in the diagram. But we use our knowledge and facts to write that out. So the fact is vertically opposite angles are equal. So we write this out. These are the facts. So the last one is AD and BC are equal because these two have the same symbols. So that means they are equal. So AD is equal to BC. And the rule is given because it stated that. So now we have the corresponding angles are equal, so these corresponding angles are equal, and corresponding size are equal. So two corresponding angles and a corresponding size are equal. So three properties, okay, they are equal. So what we can write now is just write the last statement out, which is, therefore, triangle AED is congruent to triangle BEC. Angle, angle, size. So this means that two corresponding angles and a corresponding size are equal. 
please stop the video and try this one yourself. So step number one, very important. We need to write in triangle ACD and triangle ABD first. And followed by that, we write down all the facts that we know. So first of all, we know this symbol here and this symbol here is, is mean that two angles are equal. So we write down angle ACD is equal to angle ABD. And the reason is given because it stated that they both have the same symbol. That means they both are equal, of course. So it's the reason is given. And the next one is this angle here is 90 degree both. And it's given, it's stated on the diagram. So we write down angle ADC is equal to angle ADB. And you can write down equal to 90 degrees if you like. And the reason is given because it's stated on the diagrams. And last one is we know that AD is the common arm between two triangles. So triangle ACD and triangle ABD. So therefore, we can write AD is common. So now we have these two corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding size, which is AD is equal or AD is common. So now we can just write down the uh, statement, the last statement that is therefore triangle ACD is congruent to triangle ABD. Angle, angle, side. Thank you so much for watching.